Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, Episode 3, the screencast where you can learn Python fundamentals even if you're not trying. I'm Ryan Shea, and today we'll be learning an introduction to strings. Let's get started. As usual, the first thing you do is type in Python to enter the interactive interpreter. In Python, you can create string literals just by using the single tick. Python will spit the string right back out at you. You can also use double quotes. Python doesn't really care. Notice that this was returned with single quotes. It can be useful to use single or double quotes based on what you'll have within the string. For example, I might want to use double quotes if I want to use an apostrophe. Notice that worked just fine. I could also use backtick to escape my quotation character. This would also work, but it's more confusing. If you have a very long string, you, you can continue it within the interpreter onto several lines just by putting in a backtick. For example, This is a really long string. And notice that it is still just one string. The triple dots show that there is a continuation onto another line. Another very useful way to create a string is with triple quotes. The difference between this and the prior example is that this will actually have carriage returns in it, so it will be a three-line string. We'll see, ba we'll see backslash n as the character denoting a line break. If we were to print the same type of string, you'd see that it's printed a little bit differently because I used the print command. This is useful for usage strings. It's also useful for comments that you might want to separate out onto different lines. It just makes the formatting much easier. Now with strings, you can also do some arithmetic operations just as you did with integers. For example, We can take the string hello and the string space world and add those together. We could multiply a string and it will do what you'd think. It prints foo, which is hello world, three times. You can take two strings and put them right next to each other, and it will actually concatenate them together. But you can't do this if you perform an operation on something that returns a string. For example, so part.strip will strip off any white space beginning or ending white space characters from part and then I'll just put a string after that. And notice Python doesn't like that. One interesting thing that you can do with strings is access a particular position within a string 
using the index. For example, let's make a string named foo called string. If I wanted to access the first character of foo, I can use square brackets and say foo of zero is s. Foo of one, two, three. S, T, R, I. You get the idea. One great feature of Python is slices. So you can use a notation to just pull out certain characters of a string, a list, or other list-like objects. So for example, if I wanted to take foo and pull out all of the characters from zero up until the end, I could simply do foo zero colon and then leave off the last number. You see, string is returned. If I wanted to get all the characters except for the last one, I could use minus one, counting from the right, move in one character, and give me from the zeroth character all the way up to the second to last. You could pull out any section of a, of a string this way. From the second to the fourth. You can even take pieces of a string and add them to other strings. RI, as we just had, plus CK, Rick. If you wanted to, let's say you specified an index that was out of the range. We have a five character string, STRING. So, or I'm sorry, six character string, STRING. If I wanted to go from the second to the 100th character, it still goes all the way to the end. It doesn't produce an error. What happens if we put in a negative 2? It does the right thing. Negative 2 counts from the right, moves in two characters, ng, and then it continues on until the end. Negative indexes can be quite useful. The last great thing you can do with a string is use the, the built-in length function. As we mentioned before, this is a six character string and length, length will return six. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.